Hello and welcome. This is Chai Hoffelenia and this is your 6 p.m. wrap. Senator Lila Delima says her mobile phones are being tapped. Delima raises this issue during the Senate hearing Thursday. She says, quote, I didn't want to raise this initially, but this could not be denied. Many people have told me that my mobile phones have long been tapped, right? The Senate Committee on Public Order is looking at amending the anti-war tapping law to exclude drug pushers and suspects. President Rodrigo Duterte accuses the Lima of links to drug syndicates when she was Justice Secretary. The Lima is a fierce critic of Duterte's war on illegal drugs. The Commission on Higher Education may make drug testing a requirement for college admission. Shed Executive Director Julito Vitriolo says, quote, Even in the government and the private sector, drug testing is also a requirement during pre-employment. They will not hire you if you're positive. Under the proposal, failing random drug tests can also be grounds for expulsion. Vitriolo adds, quote, For example, you're already in the school. You tested positive during random drug testing. Maybe that would be the reason for the school not to accept you anymore. President Rodrigo Duterte may visit Filipina drug convict Mary Jane Veloso in Indonesia. Veloso was sentenced to death in Indonesia for drug trafficking. She was granted a last-minute reprieve in April 2015 after appeals from the Philippine government and the surrender of her recruiter. Duterte will visit Indonesia from September 8 to 9 after he attends the Association of Southeast Asian Nations Summit in Laos next week. The Philippine president is waging a war against illegal drugs, where at least 2,000 have been killed since it began on July 1. Duterte is also calling for the reinstatement of the death penalty for drug trafficking. Brazilian President Dilma Rousseff is impeached after a Senate vote Wednesday, August 31, Brazil time. Rousseff is convicted by 61 of 81 senators of illegally manipulating the national budget. The vote ends 13 years of leftist rule in Latin America's biggest economy. Rousseff is expected to make a statement soon. Her vice president turned bitter political enemy Michel Temer is sworn in as her replacement. President Rodrigo Duterte is not in favor of Steve Harvey hosting Miss Universe 2016 in Manila. Tourism Secretary Wanda Teo says Duterte was displeased when he was told Harvey would be hosting the pageant again. Harvey has a contract with Miss Universe organization. Harvey mistakenly named Miss Colombia Ariadna Gutierrez as the winner before he corrected himself and announced Miss Philippines Pia Wurzbach as the winner of the pageant. Teo says she will tell the Miss Universe organizers about the president's concerns. Teo says, quote, Maybe that's what I'm going to do so that the president won't get mad. Maybe I will choose a girl from the Philippines who will co-host. That's your 6 p.m. wrap. Watch our updates daily at 12 noon and 6 p.m. I'm Chai Hoffelenia. Remember, tomorrow begins today.